Hello and welcome back to Old End Gamers playthrough of Unimusha, baby! Oh yeah! Finally we are on part 2, finally we are on the way to the next area and finally you can follow me into this awesome game of awesome. With good graphics so you can actually see what happens on the screen. <gasps> Isn't it amazing? Pre-rendered backgrounds that are really really beautiful and an HDMI even more. <laughs> okay, this time I can actually see what happens here because I couldn't last time. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yes, just my mic. There we go. And speaking of having a life that ends really sucky, that guy probably takes the price. Okay, so my friend told me about ways to earn more orbs is to insta-kill the enemies by hitting when they hit. Like that. I actually succeeded the first time I wasn't prepared for that one. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. It's really hard to get. Cause you just when they're about to hit you, that's the thing. And that's hard. You can also block and do it, I think. So let's try that one as well. Insta kill. Nope. Missed that one. He screams at me because he's angry. And there he dies. Fucking awesome. I gotta thank Heartland for actually showing me that trick next time. He didn't show me. He told me and I actually just did it. Like a boss. Or else the first time I was here I just ran around trying to kill everything by just hitting it until it stopped moving. But then you get only one orb of experience. If you do those insta kills you get a little bit more experience for each enemy. And in the long time I can take it's worth it. You need pretty much to upgrade something. Oh my god. Almost forgot about this guy. And that motherfucker! See that piece of shit is like forget him. Yeah. Thanks for that one bitches. Think you have come come here and tr think you are something? There we go. Hey, it's becoming easier and easier to time these guys at least. There are other enemies that which I think you can also time, but it's not that easy. <laughs> Open the door! I've killed all oh. the monsters. Open the door, piece of shit. He killed. Huh? What should we do? What? Open the door. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> this is my favorite scene so far. <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> just, it doesn't bitch slap him, he just pushes him away. What happened to you? Yeah, what actually happened to you guys? came out of nowhere and attacked us. The keep may have also been attacked by them. Well, probably. Uh, the keep is ahead of us that way? Right. The forest road there is a shortcut to the keep. Awesome. Thanks for that one, guy. I see. Now let's see if we can get to the keep. Let's talk to them as well. <laughs> he just sits down. <laughs> talk about exhausted. I saw a monstrous shadow climbing the northern stone wall near the keep. What was that? Probably that big face guy we're looking for. Although we blockaded the second vein leading to the keep, it will be easy for a monster to break through it. Sir, please reach the keep. Yes, I will. They slaughtered my comrades one by one. I never thought that things would have ended like this. Uh, you three guys are really lucky. You should get out of here so you don't have to face the demons. Seriously, you can't do anything against them. Run the fuck away. Please help me. A two-horned monster attacked me. That's that fat bastard. And you live. Your first time I tried to go in and give him my herb. You start with a herb. I tried to give him this, but uh, the only thing here, <laughs> Samonosuke went like chewing on the herb, go like, yeah, tell me more about you being hurt. <laughs> it's like a thank for that one. Piece of shit. <laughs> okay, let's go down deeper in the forest, and there we are. I have never actually timed this guy right. How hard can it be? No. I need to be faster. No. Maybe if I block. No. 
What the hell? This guy is gonna kill me just because I'm trying to train Insta killing him. Oh! Suck it! Holy shit, 70 souls. That's awesome. Oh no, another one. Oh, fuck. Trying to react, it's not that easy. No. Ah, yes, die! Jesus Christ, we need to get on with this part! And that's the only way you can kill them. Just get them to the ground and stab them and laugh at their pain. That was one fugly bat. Now, when I could see it, because I couldn't see it last time. Yeah, we need to go through this hole. What a big hole! Did the monster go this? Do this? You can't get around it. Seems you can't back. <laughs> it seems you can't get back once you get down the hole. Will you go down? Yes. Let's go down and see what happens. <laughs> so many bats. Actually, kind of cool made. Still up. Damn it. Don't surprise me like that. Holy shit, there are many. I cannot. I don't want to die, so let's just. <laughs> oh, that was fun. And die. Thank you. Ooh, lucky. We got life orb from him. Yellow orbs gives life. Oh, I killed them both with a slash. That was so beautiful. Holy shit. It's going much better and at the same time worse than last time. Oh, yes. We got the Und Temple map. Or underground temple map, perhaps. But Und Temple map sounds so much better. And then we go here. What's going on here? It looks like this mummified monk was supposed to guard this temple. There's a green scroll. Will you take it? Yes. You got the Sogan's note. To the brave one who finds and are reading this document, I ask you to put all other thoughts aside and heed my warnings that are written here within. There is an ogre's gauntlet that draws its power from the souls of those who are killed by demons. Master its secrets and great powers will be yours. Remember, without the power of the ogres, you are no match for the demons, Sogan. Yes, that's true, probably. Because we fought with our regular sword and couldn't damage any shit out of them. The fun thing is I can still equip the normal sword. Oh, I have- oh, man, I mean the normal gauntlet. Oh. Wanna fight? Let's fight! No. That was not what I- No! Oh, there we go. Just give me all your souls. Already one on the orb scale. And I was surprised first time I found this because it was like just embedded into the walls. And we got the Seiryu. Subverted by a man. Their power against the demons and all those signs. At the first I was like, what the hell is this? But then I quickly learned what it was later. And I will show you two guys, uh, you guys too. And I will of course tell you when we come to the place where I uh, have come so far. And after that, it will be a totally blind playthrough. A man, can I talk? I should annoy some people. Go like, shut the fuck up and just play the game. Breakables. We love breakables. As if they have something. Oh, just you got the journal one. Master Sogan and I followed the monster that had been kidnapping people around town and had been led to this cave. The cave seems to be a nest for demons, every kind of monster imaginable, and even the ones I never would have believed to exist are here. They call themselves demons. They hate sunlight and seem to have lived underground since before the human race began. My master had already made up his mind to go into this cave. I am confident that my master has the power to dispel the demons. I have little talent for drawing and I also have faith and courage to do what... Uh, courage so that I will not be afraid to en of any monsters. Therefore, I am going to record everything I see. This is going to be the most bizarre book in history. S same you, same you. Same you. It's so hard to pronounce. When you don't have the original language skills. Let's see here. You got the Thunder Orb. Oh, yeah, that's fun. 
Because with these orbs, we get new weapons. And therefore, we got the lightning blade. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a secret. It's my favorite so far. Oh, yes. It's fucking awesome. Oh, there we go. Lightning blade is really fast. That's what I like about it. Doesn't damage much though, but it's really fast. And uh, we can press uh, triangle to do a lightning st uh, hit with magic. But uh, I have no actually idea how it works yet because I haven't. Oh yeah, this is the clue box. Uh, solve this if you can, kind of stuff. And we should this and this and this. There we go. You have some couple moves to solve it, and I have only opened th two of these, I think. We got a rope ladder, it's actually nice how he just puts it in his inventory. Then we actually open a grave. So that's the kind of interesting, it was a person's grave that where the lightning orb was. Oh, there's a schist here, I didn't see that last time. You got the magic jewels! Awesome, I have no idea what the magic jewel does. This blue you will enhance your magic power. Will you use the magic jewel? Yes. Oh, check that out. We got uh, more mana. So that's how you increase mana and probably HP. You get some jewels. That's awesome. Ah, here we have the second save. And this chest is what I told you about. Chant the name of a clan that has been subverted by the demons, which are, and I quote, the ogres. But... I have only one book, and in this book, the name of the ogres are not here. And that's what makes me sad, because I think uh, that's the word I'm looking for here, to, to choose. And I don't, uh, I don't dare to choose anything else, because if I do, it uh, may be locked forever. I don't know, old games are like that. Oh, you didn't make it the first time. Sucks to be you. So I, I'm not going to do it. But what I'm going to do is save. No, wait. Let's enhance our blade first. Uh, enhance. Yes, we had a lot of souls this time. Oh, we have. Oh, yeah. Shiden is the magic. The Raisan is the blade. Okay. Put all our souls into that one. Uh, reached about uh, over the half a little bit. That's good. Because that probably means just a little bit, a few more orbs. And we will have. Level 2 Lightning Blade. Awesome. So, I will save and end this part here. And I'm glad that you watched with me. And uh, yeah, hopefully we will have a fun trip all through this game. As I said earlier, this is Old End Gamer. Peace out.